So in this video today, I'm going to be sharing my knowledge on how to grow your Instagram account and specifically your art Instagram account. So before we start this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it does help me a lot. I really do appreciate it. Let's get to the video. So I'm going to get straight into it just because we only got roughly around seven to eight minutes for me to cram everything I know on how to grow your Instagram account. The examples I'm going to be sharing are specifically within the art niche. So if you're an artist, this is great. If you're not, and you're just trying to grow and gain knowledge, you can use the methods that I'm going to be sharing in this video. And if you have any questions after this video, please comment below. And in the next up and coming videos I have, I will explain them and answer them thoroughly. So first off, I'm going to be talking about the different examples of techniques that you can use on Instagram to grow your account. So there's the follow and unfollow system that I recommend not to use. And I'm not going to go in depth on it in this video just because I don't want to be sharing information to you, the audience, on something that you should not be using for long term or short term because it would damage your Instagram account. You know, what you need to use specifically is the correct hashtags and the like and comment system. And there's a special thing that you can use if you have the funds or you can make a relationship with a person that obtains such an account. So I'm going to base everything off the art niche. However, use the same concept and the same knowledge I'm about to share within any niche or even if you want to become an influencer and it will work. So you want to use this correct hashtags. You want to use the hashtags that are the most popular because the most eyes daily go towards those hashtags what you hear on youtube saying no it's not good to use massive hashtags because you're always going to be lost within that no you want to start where you want to finish off right if you start small you're never going to be big because you're going to always be attached to those hashtags so use the large hashtag like art artist artwork insta art etc etc actually you don't really want to use too many but enough i recommend using the application called hashtag i use the iphone so it's on ios i'm not too sure on android however just use that concept anyway so i use hashtag and i specifically use the most generic i do not use anything instagram art etc etc but you need to use these hashtags long term and keep being consistent with using the same hashtags continuously when you hear people say you're going to get shadow banned if you use the same hashtags, that's a load of nonsense. I've been using the same hashtags since 2014 and nothing has happened to my accounts and I can grow accounts very, very fast. For example, I can grow an account. I have grown an account to seven to 800 to a million followers within a year. And this is recent. This is not 2015 period of time where it was easy to grow your Instagram account 100K per month. No, this is current. So anyway, let's get back to business. So what you need to remember is you need to use the correct hashtags and you need to obtain yourself a network of where you can like and comment. However, when I mean like and comment, I do not mean the groups that you hear from other YouTubers that are sharing their so-called knowledge. No, you need to focus on doing it individually with certain artists that are similar in your field or niche or specifically in the niche if you're just a person that is just on this video and you just want to know how to grow your instagram account you want to be specific to your niche not only that even if it's not in your niche you want them to have decent enough engagement because if they are not engaged and they're not posting daily let's say once one to three a day there's no point of networking with them because one they're not going to be exchanging with you daily because if you're posting consistently you need someone else to engage consistently at a certain period of time for then you to be getting pushed up slowly slowly within the algorithm and then once you hit the 10k mark or even if you're past the 10k mark and you're trying to revitalize uh regenerate re give too much you want to give some cpr to your account you know what i mean you need consistency consistency is key within instagram and if you do not use the word consistency and you do not use it physically in practice you will not see no results trust me Due to only having seven to eight minutes i'm going to be fairly brief on these examples so if you have any questions comment below and leave a like so then the next up and coming videos will be more in depth answering your questions 
So anyway, so you've done the network, you've done the hashtags correctly. Now, with that consistency, you will start seeing slower and slow results. However, there is another system that you can use. For example, you have to use the two systems that I've said previously, the hashtag system and the like for like system. However, if you're a smaller account and you're willing to invest in a page that is already existing, and I don't mean, I don't mean you to purchase the account and then transition it into your personal account. No, 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 no. You can use this account to then traffic and funnel the traffic that is created from those accounts to your personal account. For example, let's say you're an artist or you want to require yourself an art sharing page. Once you have an art sharing page that is within the Instagram algorithm already, so let's say for example you can clearly see if the account is going viral on certain posts or not, that indicates that it's going viral. However, you need to know specifically where the following of that account is from. Because when you think of it like this, you want your top country to either be from where you are from or specifically from the USA because those are the most engaged followers. Anyway. When you have these kind of art sharing pages or any niche that you have that specifically you want to get into, you need to realize this. With this, if the explorer page is connected within the account, for each post that you create for that page, if you include your username, let's say for example you also write below it, also check out etc etc being your name on your username on Instagram. Then once that post goes viral, the traffic that is generated from that post will then get directed to your personal account. And over a period of time, you're going to see your engagement increase as well. I hope this helps. Comment below any questions you may have. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.